Hey, hello guys. Great to you. And you're welcome again to my channel. This is Joshua the Designer. And here on my channel, you find amazing content on civil engineering, engineering design at large, and all that you need to get better. And today I'll be doing a very simple tutorial and I'll be taking you through in series how to be a pro with AutoCAD software. And this tutorial is able to take you from zero level to become the best as much as you engage in all of our tutorials. Yes, um, this interface that you are currently viewing, it's a AutoCAD software interface and with this autocad software you can use it for different kind of things amazingly yes so right now you can see i have recent documents such that i've been working on and a lot of them okay so but then this is not the main deal now the main deal is to take you to how you also can be become better with AutoCAD software. Okay, so to begin with a fresh work on your AutoCAD, your fresh journey to becoming a pro with AutoCAD. Yes, yeah, so you are supposed to have an interface like this on whatever version you are using. Um, I am using a AutoCAD 2019 version. Yours might be different, but then in any case, you should have this kind of version, um, this kind of interface. Okay, so to start with you can click your start drawing that i have currently having my cursor on start drawing so when you do that you have you have something like this but then this is a template an architect architectural template that um, i have on my view but then i don't need to pay attention to this for a start and as we go on we might need to pay attention to this so i want to take this off my screen so that i can give you um from where you need to start with so as we proceed together okay so um the first thing i would like you to do is to set your unit on autocad and to do that your autocad might have an input box just like mine here where whenever i put in any shortcut or any command i can actually see it so if you click UN on your AutoCAD, you see it that uh, directly here, or some some versions might see it just below this place, but like this UN in a box, just like this. Okay, so but in any case, if you press UN, it's a command to set our units correctly. So when I do that, I have type architectural i have decimal i have engineering i have fractional i have scientific now all of this is setting your unit to a default where you'll be able to work with um on your uh, on your uh, autocad uh, yeah so with this you may choose to have your architectural units if you're working on architecture you may choose to have a decimal unit you may choose to have engineering units, you may choose to have your fractional unit and um, scientific, whatever it is. Okay, so the thing is that once you select any of these, it will show you a sample of how it's going to become. So if I select architectural, you see the sample, um, I work in all of these units, inches, feet, and the likes. So I want to work with architectural for example and your precision you can also set your precision as required but I want to leave it as default as I have it here now you can choose your units if you want to work in inches if you want to work in millimeters centimeters meters kilometers anyone that you need to work with you want to work with but I would like to work with millimeters okay so and um, the angles if you want to work in decimal degrees in degree minute seconds in grads in radians and severe units anyone that you like to work with for your angle 
okay so that's all about this unit then i can press okay so it says for use with architectural or engineering linear units insert units should be set to inches did you see that so if you either select architectural um, units or engineering units your unit should be set to inches so then you have to cross check what you have there so you may have to work with inches but then i want to still work with millimeters okay so that's cool now we have this autocad icon here and right in this icon is where you can create new drawings you can see your re recent drawings like you are seeing mine my recent drawings the ones you've worked with you see them on this particular side then also you can create new drawings from this point you can open existing drawings from your folders wherever you have them on your system you can also save your drawings while you're working you can also save as documents and other file formats you can also import um, different kind of things now my autocad version allows me to import um, other kinds of file formats i can import pdf into my autocad environment i can import dgn file format into my environment and some other some other formats okay so i can also export my autocad um, drawing to pdf i can op, op, um, export it to dgn i can export it to dwf dwfx and all that you can see here then also i can publish i can send to to print services i can share my view i can send it to email i can email my drawings i can transmit my drawings also and i can also have them as archive okay so i can also print from here i can print my present drawing then also i can have my drawing utilities these drawing utilities will be very useful for you um, by the time you begin you can recover your drawings from this end you can purge your drawings to reduce reduce the file um, size how heavy is going to be or how light you want it to be you can also like i said you can recover your drawings um, your temporary files and all of that you can work with it and that's that's cool and we have our two two bars on these bars this this is going to be your favorite partner on this journey of becoming a pro with your autocad and on this home you have a lot of tools here you have your insert you have annotate you have parametric you have view manage output add-ins collaborate express tools featured apps and you have a lot of them so that's going to be helpful in this journey okay so being the first tutorial i'm going to give you as an introduction into autocad software so i'm going to take it a little bit uh, slow and i'm going to do this in series so do ensure that you like this video subscribe as i'm going to drop the continuation of these tutorials over and over that will take you on step by step and to ensure that you get all of this accurately okay so i'll begin with um, to tell you that um your mouse that you're working with on your autocad is going to help you translate your mind together with the command that you are working with presently and instantaneously on your autocad so your mouse is going to be your good friend also of course there are three things you'll be doing with your mouse and three functions you have the right click you have the left click and you have the the middle mouse roller that middle roll roll ball so you can um, also work with these three things the the right click the left click and that roll ball in the middle of your mouse okay so then i'll take you through few in this particular tutorial i'll take you through few tools and how you can actually navigate around your software okay so you see this line tool in in um, as much as you want to operate with any tool on your toolbar once you click on them it automatically activates them so click
clicking on your line tool activates your line so bringing down to your environment just you just need to right um, left click when you left click on your environment then it activates your command you just selected there so you can actually drop it anywhere you want to drop it and this line still continues in as much as you do not escape the last command you are working with so if you have not terminated the last command you selected definitely to still be active so then i left click again to drop it at that point then i come here also i left click again to drop it at that point so then i can escape then my expressing the escape key has successfully terminated my previous command so this forms a triangle with just the line tools the line tool that's very fine okay then there is something i would like to show you is what i like to show you is how to navigate your your autocad environment how to navigate around your environment okay so i told you that there are three things you are going to work with on your mouse the left click the right click and the the ball the middle ball okay so this middle ball what you do with it is you can use it to zoom in and zoom out as you're seeing by the time you begin to roll it forward and backward you see that you can zoom in and zoom out with your ball and also most importantly and what you would use almost always on your autocad is that by the time you hold down your ball it automatically change this cross to a hand did you see that hand which is a pan symbol did you see it? so by the time it changes still holding down your ball don't lose that grip then you can drag your mouse did you see you are able to drag all through the environment still holding down the middle ball and dragging your mouse at the same time will help you achieve the same thing so i can move my mouse i can move my environment and whatever it is that i have at that point i i truly hope that you got that okay that's very simple okay so we can now go we can now go ahead with our tutorial okay now with this now i can also show you how to have your circle so with this you can have your circle once you click your circle like i said you have activated the command then you can come here left click then by the time you draw down your mouse is that you draw it downwards or upwards it different it begins to enlarge or decrease the size of your circle but then that is not the main goal your circle actually demands that you specify the radius of your circle so if you know the radius of a circle that you want exactly you can just insert that radius directly so um let's assume what i want is just this then i can press enter so that is it so that's my radius that i have my circle already okay so that is how to go about your circle then also um the use of polyline polylines um they are they are lines that can help you create sequence of segments like you can create sequence of lines that at the end of your operation all that you have created using that line will become a single object you are still making use of a single object this line achieves that for you now for example this triangle that we created before now has three different lines forming the triangle for us but what if we try using a polyline to create the same thing we will discover that we have something like this right click then left click rather then i drop it here then i come here i drop it here using my left click also then i come here i drop it here using my left click also then i terminate the co the con um, command by pressing the escape key then let me select my 
triangle and see the difference between the two of them so selecting this one signifies that the whole segments have been created and in a sequence making it just one one line so it's poly is joined like a chain so this one is individual individual so that signifies that um the difference between the lines and the poly lines is that one creates individual lines and the other creates um, a chain of lines okay that's brilliant enough okay then we can choose to move our drawings or copy them as we will okay i can choose to copy these instead of recreating them drawing them again so then i can use the copy tool by clicking it it activates it then i come here i click on anywhere on the environment then i drag either downwards and i drag upwards so dragging downwards brings it this way dragging upwards brings it this way that's very cool okay then i can also move all of these i can move all of these so now moving all of this i can just okay so i can just click or i light any of these ones that i want to move then i click the move tool i let's click on the environment then i drag is it that to the left or to the right down or upwards okay so i can drop it there now i want to show you how you can select because more, many of you might have issues with selecting anything on your autocad software so how to select now you can either select by clicking on whatever it is you want to select direct clicking on whatever you want to select clicking directly clicking directly but then i can actually select the two these two um shapes together by highlighting them by using the window highlight so i can just come outside the range of these two objects that i want to select together i can come outside the range then i left click so by left clicking i've started my operation then i drag down to the right i just move my mouse to the right to cover the entire area of the object then i drop it by clicking by left clicking again so left clicking again has helped me achieve the selection totally at once so that is just the operation of my selection okay and that is good and i can also delete all of this at once so i can delete by selecting one after the other and using this tool this tool is the erase tool erase tool so i can use it erase then i can use the other selection means erase using the other selection means erase using the other selection means so i'm trying to show you how to erase and how to do your selection at one uh, at the same time so that's all then we can see so it's as simple as this and you can stick through with my videos and tutorials because i'll make this continuous and you can catch up with the part two of this particular tutorial on how to become a pro with AutoCAD software. Very easy, very simple. I make this software so easy for you to, to learn and to know becoming a pro in a Jiffy. Okay, thank you for hanging around. Do well to like this video, subscribe to this channel, as I'm going to be dropping the next video in a bit so that you'll be able to catch up as soon as it drops and also share with your friends that should get better along this line and hang on I'm Joshua the designer thank you bye